Netgear supports all industry-recognized Wi-Fi analyzer tools. For this example, we will be using Ekahau AI Pro. Firstly, our expert will load the blueprint of the customer's site. It is a large corporate office with several meeting rooms and cubicle open spaces occupying an entire floor on an L-shaped building. Now, we must find a known reference to calibrate our scale. A door opening is typically 90 centimeters or 3 feet wide. We use the scale tool to determine a pixel to feet relationship across the entire document. Entering a known value helps scaling this drawing. Check on another door opening to confirm the scale. Now, let's use the straight wall tool to draw each physical wall in the blueprint. We must choose the wall materials according to the customer survey. The customer informed the external walls are made of steel, so we can use a similar attenuating material like a steel door with 13 dB attenuation. Confirm the wall height as informed by the customer 11 feet. Now, let's watch the genius at work. We will speed up this process. It normally takes a few hours, but with the experience of our system engineer, Keith Nielsen, we'll see this in just a few seconds. Notice the stairwell is drawn as a fire door because it's also made of steel. Now that all external walls are drawn, let's do the internal barriers. As the internal walls are mostly drywall, we will use the preset with 3 dB attenuation on the signal strength. Confirm the wall height, as informed by the customer, 9 feet. And now, let's sit back and relax while the magic happens. Hey, wait a minute! Are these cubicles completely sealed? How are people getting in and out? No, it's all good. These are privacy call rooms. The doors are made of a sonic-proof material with a similar attenuation as drywall. Now all internal walls are done, we can move to the next step, which are the attenuation areas, where a combination of desks, people and chairs will attenuate the signal strength. The software has a preset for cubicle areas estimating 3 dB attenuation. Let's enjoy this satisfying job! If the office had multiple floors or a mezzanine, we could determine a hole-in-floor passage for the signal to go through. Finally, let's delimit the total area covered by wireless signal to finish our heat map. Now, we must select what access point will be used in this deployment to define their best placement in minimum quantity required for the optimal signal strength. Netgear access points are supported by the software and already have all the technical details that we provide for users to build their Wi-Fi heat maps. We will use the WAX WAX630 Wi-Fi 6 access point. You can confirm the height of the antenna placement spot, in this case 9 feet ceiling. You could determine specific channels and channel widths, but the software will do it automatically. Now, we'll press Create and let the algorithm find the best placement for our access points. The AI tool simulates hundreds of possibilities. Green is good and red circles are showing interference detections. Done! In a few seconds, we have a heat map with ideal coverage of the perimeter. However, our expert has detected weak areas, here represented in orange color. This could be possibly caused by neighboring AP being too close and interfering with the signal, as we see here, just 18.8 feet apart. 
With thousands of site survey experience, our expert is manually adjusting the AP placement to avoid interferences and optimize the design. We now check the distances between APs on the open space and they should be around 50 feet apart from each other. The surgical process requires extensive Wi-Fi knowledge and a full understanding of the usage of the space. Done! After minutious adjustments, our Wi-Fi heat map now shows only green areas. We now generate the Wi-Fi report that will serve as an installation guide for the access points in the site. The report comes with a cold map with the ideal placement of the APs and installers have still a 2 to 3 feet tolerance if they need to reposition. The report also provides a heat map per band. Please note how the 2.4 GHz band shows more green areas than the 5 GHz. Another important heat map included in the report is the throughput per band map showing the expected data rate in each area. A solid green represents an expected 415 megabits per second through the 2.4 GHz band using our WAC 630 as an example. Note that the 5 GHz band is faster for devices within coverage but will lose power over long distances. At the end, the report specifies the optimal quantity of APs and their details, including specific channels per Wi-Fi band, channel widths like 20, 40, 80 or 160 MHz and their transmit power. For this example, covering an entire L-shaped building floor, serving all staff and guests in the office, all meeting rooms and open spaces with a Netgear Wi-Fi 6 WAC 630 AP, there will be 32 access points required. And that's it! In a few minutes, you followed a step-by-step -step through the process of building a Wi-Fi heat map. Now, let Netgear help you, saving you time and providing you the expertise you need to excel in your IT business. To request your remote site survey, simply email prowifidesign at netgear.com and start your projects with Netgear right now. <music>